Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on finding the perimeter of a sector of a circle. Now what do I mean by sector? If I have a full circle, then the sector is like a pizza slice of that, so just some portion of it. So that is a sector. And an arc of a circle is basically some portion of the circumference. So a line like that, that would be an arc of the circle. If the arc goes all the way around the circle, then it's known as the circumference. That's the full perimeter of a circle. So we want to find the perimeter. The perimeter is the total length. Perimeter means total length around the outside. Now, we've got three things to worry about here. We've got this length, this length, and that length. So we want to find the length of the arc first. So what's this going to be? Well, let's think. If we were to continue the circle on to make a full circle, what would be that total circumference, that total length of the circle? Well, the circumference of a circle, we've previously seen, is 2 times pi times the radius. So r is the radius, and pi is a special number. Uh, it has the value 3.141590, etc., going on forever. So if we were to find the full circumference of a circle, that would be 2 times pi, times the radius of 7.3, but we don't want the full circumference of a circle. We just want this appropriate fraction of it. Now, what fraction of the circle is it? Well, the total angle at this point would be 360. So we just want 56 three sixtieths of a full circle. So we're gonna do 56 three sixtieths of a full circle. Remember, when we do a fraction of an amount, the word of we can replace with time. So it's 56 three sixtieths of the circumference of a full circle. So I'm just going to write the formula for that. Arc length, so the arc length is this, where we've got this angle at the centre, let's call it theta, and a radius r, where we start with the circumference of a full circle, and then we do theta three sixtieths of it, depending on what theta is. In this case, theta is 56. So then, if we do that on our calculator, and I press the ESD key to convert to a decimal, I get 5.13. And it's gonna mean centimeters to three second figures. So that's this length here. We've worked out that's 7.13, but we've got two more lengths to make the full perimeter. We've got this length and this length. Now this length is 7.3, and because the radius is the same at any point in the circle, that's also going to be 7.3 centimetres, isn't it? So we just need to add those three lengths together. We've got the 7.13, we're adding the 7.3, and we're adding the other 7.3. So that's a total perimeter. So add those together, and that gives you 21.7 centimetres to freezing them figures. And that's the final answer.